Hey ladies, here I am in the place that I'm staying at in Lanus. Um, it's the house of Sulema and it's very rustic. It's in more like a suburban area. This is the outdoor lobby area. This is Lily. She's one. Hola Lily, mi amor. She's adorable. Anyways. This is the merchandise of Sulema. Here is some of her jewelry hanging on mannequins. I love the design. I love her rastiness. Here is her belt. Here is some more of her jewelry hanging on the walls here. It's pretty awesome. I really like it. Also something else to note is um, I love Sulema. She's a wonderful woman. She's very pacifist. She's well, she's not pacifist. She's very she's very Buddhist, to be honest. She's also a lot of force. Um, I'm kind of like translating directly from Spanish words here. She's very much so pro social good, social change, and you know, being conscientious. And she's um, very much pro artisans like we are. And she also is trying to start in her house a centro cultural, a cultural center where she can teach kids. And um, here we are listening to some good music. This is Sulema Sulema. This is my great friend Sulema, mi hermana de mi alma, Sulema. Si, sí, say hi. Es un grabación. Sulema is literally like a professor in Berkeley. She's just so wonderful. She's like all the time talking to me about like how we can make the community community better. This is the living room. It's very rustic. I love it. These are some discs of Smurfs. Where we keep our things. Here's some more of her art. This is the room where she wants to turn into a cultural center. And basically she wants to have classes, like they call them tasheras here, which are basically sessions where um, we would have artisans come and teach people um, basically just different forms of art, like how to like, I don't know, make sandals, how to, little like pro tips, like, you know, if you have loose threads hanging up on your like leather sandals, you can use a lighter and burn it right quick and you don't have to like destroy the other pieces of threads um, and how to like fix things. Basically just very artisanal. Here's her adorable bike. I need a bike. Anyways, yes, they're very much so full of culture here, full of passion, full of wanting peace and to have a better life for people on the streets and just people everywhere. This is the adorable rustic kitchen that we have. As you can see right here, the gas pipe right here is literally just broken. It's, it's just a broken piece of wall. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, right there, yeah, it's the broken wall right here quite dark but um yeah that piece of broken wall is the gas pipe that isn't connected on the burner so what we're using right now to cook is this camping gas thing the oven doesn't work and our one other sole form of cooking is this um crock pot type thing i mean to be honest we've been able to get along quite well and it's been pretty awesome living here i love it um in fact there's like a beautiful garden we have a really nice shower, and then she has an adorable balcony that leads into the garden outside. It's very like, it's like Vinales in Cuba. It's like very, very rustic. We're a little bit more poor of a neighborhood. Supposedly it's one of the poorest neighborhoods in um, Buenos Aires, but um, like the province is outside, but I love it. But I do want to help Sulema. Yeah, hopefully we can come out with a way to help her with her articles, or I've been thinking of like maybe coming up with an Indiegogo. Um, campaign for her or something. Anyways, just wanted to share this with you guys. Love you guys lots and I can't wait to catch up. Love you ladies. Bye.